Hello everyone. Welcome to AE Graphics. Let's preview what we are going to create today. Let's get started. Open After Effects. Create a new comp. And rename it to Colorful Logo Animation. I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution. 30 frames per second. 5 seconds long. Background color is black. And press OK. Let's import our project file. Right click on project window. Import in file. Select the file. And open. You can download the file from the link in description. Now let's create color palette. These color palette will be useful while coloring the logo and text. Create a new comp. Rename it to color palette. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Now go to toolbar. And select the rectangle tool. Click on the fill to open the properties. Turn on the solid color. And press OK. Now change the color. I am changing the color to yellow. You are free to use your own ideas. After selecting the color, draw a new rectangle in the corner of the comp. I am renaming it to Color Palette 1. Now, select the Color Palette 1. Go to Edit. And navigate to Duplicate. Make sure the Color Palette 2 layer is selected. And change the fill color. I am changing it to blue. And press OK. Press V in keyboard to toggle the selection switch and place the color palette two downwards. We can use this color palettes for coloring our logo. Now let's head to the main tutorial. Switch to colorful logo animation comp. In the project window, select the logo file and drag and drop it to the comp and press S in keyboard to open its scale properties. I am decreasing the size of logo. You are free to use your own ideas. This looks good to me. Then let's type our text. Go to Toolbar. And select the Horizontal Type tool. I am using Felix Tightling font. Font size 80. Tracking value 100. And make sure all caps is turned on. Let's type our text. This could be our brand or channel name. The Eagle. Align it to horizontal center. And the anchor points too. And place it near the logo to your ideas. This looks good to me. Then let's type our second text. Make sure horizontal type tool is selected. This could be the slogan. I am using Gil Sans MT font. Font size 30. Tracking value 500. And make sure all caps is turned on. Let's type our text. Ahead always. Align it to horizontal center. And the anchor points too. And place it near the logo to your ideas. Now let's align all the three layer. This looks good to me. Now our basic logo is ready. Let's animate it one by one. First, I am going to start with the logo. Let me turn off the other layers. Now create a new solid layer. Right click on the comp. Navigate to new and select solid. Rename it to line 1. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Select the line 1 layer and place it below the logo layer. Now we are going to create a line as mask. 
Make sure the line 1 layer is selected. Now go to toolbar. And select the pen tool. Click on the bottom center of our logo. Then hold shift in keyboard. And click outside the comp. This will create straight line mask. To draw a new straight line, you must hold the shift key in keyboard. Now let's animate this. Go to effects and presets. And search for saber. If you don't have this effect, you can download it from the link in description. Select the saber. Drag and drop it to the line 1 layer. Let's adjust few settings. Make sure line 1 layer is selected. Go to effects controls panel. Open its customized core. Change the core type from saber to layer masks. Here is the most important step to remember while using saber. Open its render settings. And change the composite settings from black to transparent. If you don't change this, you won't able to find another layers behind the saber layer. If the glow disturbs you while working, simply uncheck the enable glow option here. Later after finishing the animation we can turn it on. Now it's time to animate the mask. Open the line 1 properties. Navigate to effects. And open the saber properties. Then head to customize core. And open its properties. Make sure you are in the first frame. Change the start offset as 100%. And create a key frame on it. Now move 3 frame forwards. And set a keyframe on end offset at the value of 100%. Then move to 15th frame. And change the start offset value to 0%. Then move to 1 second. And change the end offset value to 0%. Now our mask animation was ready. Then select all the keyframes. Right click on a keyframe. Navigate to Keyframe Assistant. And select Easy Ease. Then close all the properties. Now we have to create another line mask that passes from the opposite direction. To create that, make sure the line 1 layer is selected. Go to Edit. And select Duplicate. Let's rename it. Right click on it. And navigate to Rename. I am renaming it to line 2. Now select the line 2 layer. Right click on it. And navigate to transform. Then select flip to horizontal. Now our mask layers animates by meeting each other. Now it's time to animate our logo. Select our logo. Go to effects and presets. And search for linear wipe. Select the linear wipe under transition. Drag and drop it to the logo layer. Let's adjust few settings. Open the logo properties. Then open effects. And linear wipe. Now go to frame where the two lines meet each other. In my case, it's meeting on the 15th frame. Then change the wipe angle to 180%. And increase the transition completion value until the logo gets hide. Then set a key frame on it. Now move to 1 second 10 frames. And change the transition completion value to 0. Now our logo animation is ready. Select both the key frames. Right click on a key frame. Navigate to key frame assistant. And select easy ease. Now our basic animation is ready. Let's add more depth to it. I would like to add a new line mask so that our logo will reveal after the light layer. Right click on the comp, navigate to new, and select solid. Rename it to line 3. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Drag and drop it behind all the layers. Now make sure the line 3 layer is selected. Go to toolbar. Select the pen tool. Let me zoom in.
Click at the end of the logo. Then click on the top of the logo by holding shift to draw a straight line. Let's add another point to the left. Click on the logo end by holding shift. Now we have our basic line animation. Let's apply Saber to it. Select the line one layer. Go to Effects Controls. Select the Saber effect. Go to Edit. And select Copy. Now move to the frame where the two lines meet. In my case, it's meeting on the 15th frame. Select the line 3 layer. Go to Edit. And select Paste. Now press U and keyboard to open the keyframes. Delete all the keyframes. Change both the start and end offset value to 0%. Then set a keyframe on start offset. Now move 3 frames forward. Set a keyframe on end offset with the value of 0%. Then move to 1 second 5 frames. And change the start offset value to 100%. Then move 3 frames forward. And change the end offset value to 100%. Select all the keyframes. Right click on any keyframe. Navigate to Keyframe Assistant. And select Easy Ease. Now select the line 3 layer. Go to Edit. And select Duplicate. I am renaming it to Line 4. Select the Line 4 layer. Right click on it. Then navigate to Transform. And select Flip Horizontal. Now our logo and line animations are ready. Then, let's animate our text. Turn on our main text. Go to the frame where our logo animation ends. In my case, logo animation ends on 1 second and 5 frame. Now go to Effects and Presets. And search for Block Dissolve. Select the first effect. And drag and drop it to the main text layer. Press U in keyboard to open the keyframes. These keyframes was created by default. I am leaving the default settings as it is. Select both the keyframes. Right click on any keyframe. Navigate to Keyframe Assistant. And select Easy Ease. Now our main text animation was ready. As a final step, let's animate the slogan. Turn on the text layer. Then select the line 4 layer. Go to Edit and duplicate. Now we have a new line 5 layer. Select the line 5 layer and place it below the text layer. Press M in keyboard to open the mask. Select the mask 1 and delete it. Let me zoom in. Make sure the line 5 layer is selected. Then go to toolbar and select the pen tool. Then draw a straight line crossing the text. Make sure the line is drawn between the text. Then press U in keyboard to open the keyframes. Go to the frame where our main text animation ends. I am moving to 2 seconds. Then select the keyframes. And drag and place those here. Now we have our line animation. Then go to the frame where the line meets the text. Go to toolbar and select the Rectangle tool. Make sure the Fill Solid layer is selected. Draw the shape layer by hiding the text. Now we have a new shape layer. Let's rename it to Mat. Select the Mat layer and press P and keyboard to open its position properties. Set a keyframe on the position. Move to the frame where the line 5 layer exists the text. And move the mat position towards right of the comp. 
select both the keyframes. Right-click on a keyframe. Navigate to Keyframe Assistant. And Easy Ease. Then select the slogan text and change its track mat to Alpha Inverted Mat. If you don't find this option, check Toggle between switches and modes. Or right-click here. Navigate to Columns. And select Modes. Then select the Line 5 layer and place it above all the layers. Now it looks like the Line 5 layer reveals the text. As a final step, let us add zoom and effect to our animation. Right click on the comp and navigate to New. Then select Null Object. I am renaming it to Zoom In. Align it to the center and the anchor points too. Then go to the frame where our final animation ends. I am moving to 3 seconds. Now select all the layers except the zoom in layer. And parent those to the zoom in layer. If you don't find this option, right click here. Navigate to columns. And select parent. Now select the zoom in layer. Press S in keyboard to open its scale properties and create a keyframe with the value of 100%. Then move 10 frames forward and change the value to 105%. Select both the keyframes. Right click on a keyframe. Navigate to Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease. Make sure the zoom and layer is turned off. Our animation process is completed. Let's make it colorful. Go to Project Window. Select the Color Palette Comp. Drag and drop it below all the layers. Select the Line 1 layer. Move to the frame where the Line 1 layer is visible. Go to Effect Controls tab. Enable Glow option. Then select the Eyedropper tool in Glow Color. And select the color you want. I am choosing the yellow color for Line 1. Likewise, do it for the Line 2 layer. Select the Line 2 layer. Enable its glow. For this I am leaving the default blue color as it is. Likewise do it for the Line 3, Line 4, and Line 5 layers. I am fast forwarding my work. If you have any doubts in this tutorial, you can ask me in the comment section. Or you can write an email. The links are in the description. Then let's color our logo. Go to Effects and Presets. Search for Ramp or Gradient Ramp. Select the ramp. Drag and drop it to the logo layer. Let's adjust few settings. Pick the eyedropper tool in the start color. For the start color I am choosing yellow color. Likewise, do it for the end color. I am choosing the blue color. This looks good to me. Then select the main text layer. Pick the eyedropper tool from the character box. And select the color. For the main text I am using the blue color. Likewise do it for the slogan text. Pick the eyedropper tool from the character box. And select the color. Now hide or delete the color palette in the comp. That's all, our colorful logo animation is ready. Let's RAM preview. Hope you like this tutorial. Do subscribe our channel for more videos. Let's learn together. Meet you in the next video. Good day.